M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my videos on the Bofeng UV VX3, which looks very similar to the Yesu, but it's not the same and it's only £25. And I'll start off by just saying you can't add memory names to this, but you can add memory channels. So let's put a, a repeater in here uh, and store it to our memory. So the first thing we're gonna do is go into VFO mode. So to do that, you hold down the UV, like so, and right now we can change the frequency. So we are in VFO mode. If you hold it down again, you see the memory channel. I put a couple of memories in there already, look. And A and B, you'll see I was changing the bottom one then. That's in VFO mode. We'll go to A, so that's your A band. A band, B band, A band, B band. So we're going to VFO, we've got the little arrow there and we're gonna hold down the UV. And that puts us into VFO mode. I mean, you can't type a frequency. And of course, if you program this using Chirp or the original software, it's gonna be a lot quicker than doing it this way. But this still works if you're out and about and you just wanna put, put some memory in it, this works fine. So what we'll do now is we'll select a frequency. So let's go to one that I know, which is 430825, which is GB3ZB, I believe. And then we'll go to menu. And we're gonna start going through. Now, if you look at the menu numbers here, we're at number one. Okay, number one there. So start it. there is a timeout. So turn to number two, and that's our CTCSS tone. Press the UV button. That's like entering the menu change. And then you look, you can turn the dial. I know it says TX code, but that is actually CTCSS. Press UV again to, to keep that. Then keep turning to the next menu. Just out of interest, we've got squelch on number three. So if we keep going, press menu again when you time out. Menu four is the light key. Let's see if we can make the light stay on. So we'll go UV and then we got it to on now. That's good. And that's gonna keep your light on now. Keep going, the beep, should we leave that on? Yeah, we like the beeps. Vox, if you want Vox power, you've got low or high, and apparently this is two watts. You can do quite a lot with two watts, by the way. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is keep going. Dual watch, we'll press that and we'll turn that on, because that means we'll receive on the A band and the B band, which I think will be quite nice. Um, so that's on, now menu again, keep turning. Step, that's worth knowing, so UV, and then look, you can change your step, and I always put it on 6.25. Keep going. Offset, now that's important. If I press that, and you can change with the, with the dial. So for a two meter repeater, you would want 600, okay? And you just, when you press this, you just change it with the big knob. And the big knob, you do have to pull it out, otherwise it won't turn, by the way. And, and then on 77, you want 7600. So this is why it's quite annoying to program it by hand, because uh, it takes a long time to get to 7600. <laughs> but you will get there. And so I'm just gonna do a few channels by hand and the rest using the software. So then we go UV again. And uh, then we'll press menu, offset. No, we've, uh, we don't want that, do we? No, we're on the wrong bit. Let's go back to the A band, yeah? So it actually makes sense that when you're on the B band, let's just get out of this a minute, watch this. So we'll go to the B band, two meters, press menu, change that offset, like so, to 600. That's nice and easy for two meters. Save that. And then go back to the out of that by pressing menu. Go to the A band, press menu, and look, you've still got 7600. So once you set it once, actually, you're good to go on the A band with 70 centimeters. So that's good news. Quite pleased about that. So offset, we've set shift plus or minus. So when you key up for a repeater, you transmit on one frequency, which is called the input, and on you're listening on the output, which is the frequency we can see now, which is 430825. So you just go menu, hit the UV, you want to turn it, you want a plus shift for 70 centimeter or 433 meg type frequencies. Hit UV, back into menu, let's see what else we can set. Wide and narrow, it's up to you if you want wide band, narrow band. 
Uh, timeout is how long you can speak for. So let's just go up a bit. I think it's 60 seconds there. Let's go to more like 180. There you go. That's 102 minutes of speaking. And uh, then we'll go back to keep going through the menu. Timeout, scanner. I think we're pretty much busy lockout. That means if someone's speaking, it won't let you transmit. Priority channels, we're not doing that today. And then we're back to the TX code and squelch. So, okay, that's everything in there. We can give that a quick test now. It's two watts. Let's see if we can get that from here. So I just go M0 FXB test, test, test. It's not quite getting it in here. Uh, we'll try out at the end of the video, we'll try outside. But um, let's try the other one that I set. If we just go up to 925, I think we can get that one in this house. Let's try it. M0 FXB test, test, test. No, we're not in luck. What's the power on this? Let's just check the power menu. TX code, TX power, there it is, oh, and we're on high, so. And you can tell when the tone's on, because when you key, it says CT, and it does always show the signal meter at the bottom, even though we're on the A band. So to store it into memory is nice and easy. We're gonna store this into memory number four. So you just press, you've got the FA button here, okay, function button. So we're just gonna press that. Then we're gonna press the UV button, and the number will appear, so we go F, UV and then we're going to turn it to number four and then just press UV again and if we press UV if we go back into now memory mode by holding down UV we're now in memory mode and look we can scroll through memories that we've saved so let's do another one on two meters so we'll go to the B band by pressing UV then we'll turn it to 145 600 okay um, now we need to set our tones, ETC. We are on dual watch, which means we can hear both, but not at the same time, but it will cue them. So we'll go menu, and we'll go back to the tone, and we're gonna press UV, and then turn to 94.8 for two meters. UV, that's that set, then we'll keep going through the menu. We just need the offset. No, we set that at 600, remember? So you just go UV, turn until it's 600. That's good. We've put the tone on. We want the shift to be minus. So we go UV, and it was on minus, so we'll keep it on minus. If it's a zero, it's simplex. It means it will transmit on the same frequency. So we've got the tone, we've got the shift, we've got the shift amount. And did we set the tone at 94.8? So if we key now, M0 FXB test. And that's GB3WR, okay? Now, actually, we need to be on the B band. So we go, so that we're on the B, we press the UV to get on the B, now do it. M0 FXB test, test. And what we'll do is we'll just, to save that, we're gonna go press the gray F button, then UV, and then we're gonna, well, we need to actually make sure we're on the B section before we do this. So let's just start again on that. We press the F to come out of F mode. Just oh no, we are we have got the arrow there, so we go F and then we'll go UV, we'll choose channel five, and then we'll press UV. So now hopefully that worked. I'm not sure if it did. <laughs> um hold it down. Oh, it looks like it saved the wrong frequency. So let's go let's go back to B a minute. Again, let me go back to B. Okay, it did work in the end. Uh, I noticed that when you're in a memory channel, look, if we go to the A band, you're actually showing on the memory, you've got two meters on the A one. Let's go to the B and go to memory channel, hold, holding down UV. 70 centimeter there, go like so. Just seeing if it will let me do 77s on the bottom. It won't, but it will on the top though. That's interesting. But anyway, just gonna show you how to save that memory channel again. So when you're in the B section, arrows at the bottom, you're in VFO mode by holding down UV. 
you know you're in VFOMO because you won't see the memory channel. So we're in VFO there. Now we're going to go F. We're going to put it in menu 7. UV, go to 7 and then press UV again. Now we'll go back to memory mode. And then look, 6, 7. And that did work, yeah? So, you know, it's one of the things, do it a couple of times, you'll remember. To adjust the volume, you just press volume and then turn this, look. Like so, that makes it louder and quieter. You've seen the menu, you've seen UV. To, hold, to get the radio working, just hold down the orange button. So we'll do that. And the radio. Sure, how you get different. Oh, it just scans, does it? Only showing two frequencies at the moment. But what I'm noticing with the radio is if you press F, then menu, it scans up. F. Menu, can you turn backwards? See if it will go down. Scanning until it finds something, then I think you can save it. Not finding a lot. We are inside this room. There's something there. And I think you can save by going F. I really want that volume on my YouTube. Yeah, when you're in radio mode, you can act, you can save memories in the same way. Look, we've got memories here. Look, so you, when you're just in VFO, hold it down in VFO. In radio mode, you go F scan. Yeah, it finds something. If you find something that you like, then you just go F UV and choose your channel. So you press F then UV. Choose a radio saving channel, UV, and then when you're in memory mode of the radio, just hold it down. When the number appears at the top, then you can scroll through your radio memories. So that's it really. You can charge the radio using the DC input or the included charger, which looks like this, quite funny looking thing, but you lay the battery flat. You can sit your radio in there, but the belt clip does get in the way, I've noticed. But anyway, it does sit like so. And then your battery will go in the back. You can plug in your DC input to charge the battery there. Or you can just plug it into the little DC input here. You've got speaker hole there for your speaker microphone, but it also allows you to uh, plug your programming cable in for Chirp and for the original software, which is this cable here. And I, I got a feeling that um, a, a single pin budget microphone is going to work fine in this. Probably be easier with a microphone, wouldn't it? So I think it's a nice looking device. You know, it's only £25 and put it in your pocket and it's going to work. Let's just quickly go outside and see if we can open those repeaters and then we'll end the video. And Oh yeah, the side button doubles up as a torch as well. And remember, you can't turn the knob until you pull it out. That's, I, that threw me when I first got it. I thought it was stuck. It's almost like a lock button. So let's just try it, we're out here. M0 FXB test test. Well, we have audio there, so let's just turn it up. Thanks for watching, bye for now, 7-3.